You mentioned picking an organ. Uh, more recently on this podcast, we've had a lot of people talking about penis health, and I'm not, I don't think it's an organ. But uh, anyway, <laughs> do you know anything? Know much about this topic? Because we've had a lot a lot of great responses to having some people talk about uh, how to cure like erectile dysfunction and uh, how to just get more blood flow and, and downstairs mm. and things like that. So, interestingly. When, uh, when an erection occurs, what's happening is that the nitric oxide, and I don't know if anyone has spoken to you about nitric oxide in this whole yeah, process. Yeah, we have, yep. not Awesome. So mm-hmm. nit- nitric oxide is an important chemical, tells blood vessels to relax. Mm-hmm. And when a blood vessel relax, heaps of blood goes to that area. And because the penis is filled with spongiform tissue, the blood engulfs that area. And obviously, what happens is it gets engulfed with blood, dun, and dun, then dun. blocks. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's it. It's, and then that's and then it's block the venous outflow. So obviously, arteries go in, feeds tissues, and veins drain things out. Mm. But when you fill the spongy form tissue with blood, it blocks the veins, and so blood can't leave. And this is one of those things that happened with Viagra, for example, is Viagra was made originally for heart health because of the nitric oxide effect. It vasodilated the blood vessels, opened up the, the blood vessels in the heart, so the heart works better. But they also realized that these people taking it were getting erections. And they thought, well, there's probably more money here in erections than there is in heart health. So they're going to start selling it for that. Terrible side effect. Mechanism. <laughs> yeah, what a horrible side effect that is. Um, so... Uh, one thing that can stimulate nitric oxide is testosterone. So testosterone stimulates nitric oxide to be released. Mm. And there's some evidence in the literature that people with uh, hypogonadism, and so hypo meaning below gonadism is referring to um, uh, the sexual reproductive organs and having issues associated with that. And it might be erectile dysfunction, for example, Mm. That sort of goes hand in hand a lot with metabolic disease too, in some ways. So metabolic disease are things like high blood glucose levels and insulin uh, insensitivities and high blood pressures and things like things that increase your likelihood for getting uh, heart disease, cardiovascular disease, and such down the track. So uh, hypogonadism and metabolic disease sort of have this association. There's a Venn diagram that overlaps a little bit, and one of the theories is that utilizing testosterone replacement therapy could be of benefit because of its ability to promote nitric oxide release. But you can also promote nitric oxide release. So I know I digress all the time, but back in Italy, back in the day, they used to castrate young boys so that they would have a higher voice because women weren't allowed to sing. So they thought, well, what can we do? I know, let's cut the balls off a bunch of dudes and then they will maintain that higher pitched voice. And so... What they found was that these guys, they didn't develop the secondary sexual male sexual characteristics, which was, you know, the, the hair, the musculature, the lean body fat, um, the wide set jaw, the laryngeal prominence. So they had this fat mass around the belly. They had low musculature. Um, they didn't have a lot of facial hair or wide set jaws or anything like that. And their voice was high pitched. They also thought that they wouldn't be able to get erections, but they could get erections. And the reason why is because nitric oxide can be released through uh, touch stimulation and also through thought stimulation. So you can release nitric oxide through thought and through touch um, in addition to testosterone. And that's where my knowledge ends. <laughs> <laughs> hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel because we continue to bring you peak content on this channel. Obviously, you guys are here. You guys have watched the whole video. So like, comment, subscribe. All right. See you later.